Welcome to this video on Vibranium as shown in the Black Panther movie and comics. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire budding engineers and technicians for a better more sustainable world. Subscribe to the channel to get updates of our latest posts. Vibranium is an extraterrestrial metal in the Marvel comic universe. According to the Black Panther storyline 10,000 years ago a massive meteorite comprised of vibranium crashed into the fictional country of Wakanda. Most notably, it is the material from which Captain America's shield is made up of. It has also been the material of choice for the Black Panther's suit and his gadgets. The suit he wears is shown to be made up of woven strings of vibranium. One property of vibranium is to absorb impact load. It is shown to cushion bullet hits and is able to store the energy of projectiles. This stored energy can later be released on a signal thus making vibranium ideal for a combat armor. Using vibranium in the sole allows the Black Panther to land after leaping from tall buildings without any injury. The energy of fall is absorbed by the suit rather than being passed on to the body. The other characteristic of vibranium that has been shown in the Black Panther movie is its effect as a mutagen. Vibranium radiation permeates through much of Wakanda's flora and fauna. However, one property that is most remarkable in vibranium is its ability to levitate. Interestingly, levitation has been a topic that has fascinated scientists and engineers for centuries and it is this property of vibranium that we will be exploring in this video. The phenomena of levitation was popularized in the 1980s blockbuster Back to the Future in which a hoverboard was shown that seemingly used Earth's magnetic field to defy gravity. How close is this to reality? Could this be ever achieved? Well, scientists and engineers have already made maglev train or magnetically levitating train. However, that requires sophisticated electromagnets and a lot of power. There are two other ways in which magnetic levitation can be achieved. First is through superconductors and second is through diamagnetism. Now superconductors are basically materials that have zero resistance to any current through them and thus any current passing through a superconductor can create extremely strong magnetic field. The strength of the magnetic field is measured in Tesla. For comparison a strong fridge magnet has a magnetic field of only 0.01 Tesla. But through the use of these superconductors, scientists have created magnetic fields that have the strength of 45 Teslas. There is however a problem which is that material used for superconductors require them to be cooled down to extremely low temperature. Most of the materials require cooling to a temperature level 200 degrees centigrade below the freezing point. Therefore, a huge amount of energy goes into cooling of superconductor material and for keeping them at this low temperature. Only this way very strong magnetic fields are created. Scientists across the world both in the academia and the industry have been working towards material that show superconductor properties at room temperature. So far they had little success but they have discovered materials that become superconductors at about 80 degree below freezing point. Room temperature superconductors are therefore the holy grail for achieving levitation. The other method of levitation is through diamagnetism. Diamagnetism is the property of a material to repel magnetic field. Interestingly, water is diamagnetic. In fact, all materials have some degree of diamagnetism in them. The forces of diamagnetism are weak and therefore require the presence of a strong magnetic field for the levitation to take place. Now it should be noted that neodymium magnets can achieve magnetic field strength of more than 1.4 Tesla and magnetic levitation by using strong diamagnetic materials such as pyrolytic carbon can be carried out in the presence of rare earth magnets such as neodymium magnet at room temperature. This levitation however can be done for very lightweight materials. Frog and mice have been levitated using diamagnetic phenomena. For levitating heavier objects, stronger magnetic fields are required which are not possible through Earth's own weak magnetic field or through permanent magnets. But a magnetic field that is extremely strong created through a superconductor can use Earth 
as a diamagnetic to create levitation. And if vibranium is a room temperature superconductor, then many of the levitating equipment and machinery shown in the Black Panther movie would be plausible. And with this, the video on vibranium is concluded. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed or learned from the video, make sure you hit the like button. I would also urge not just subscribing to the channel, but also spreading the word about it. Check out the other videos too on physics of superheroes on this channel. Thank you for your attention.